Learning how to edit fast in Premiere is a fundamental skill to have. It's kind of like building a house. If you want it to be beautiful and successful, you need to build it on a strong surface. Same thing for video editors. Today I will strengthen your skill set by learning how to edit faster. Trick number one. Automatically sync your shots with the beat of a song in Premiere. First you want to add a song in your timeline. This is one of my old beats, by the way. FL Studio Basics down below. Then make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the clip. Now press play and hit M on your keyboard to set a marker on every beat. You can hit the marker on the kicks, snares or both. Whatever fits your style. Once you have the markers, go to the project panel. This is where your clips are. Now make sure you have the big view so you can preview your videos. Now use the in and out keys to create a selection for the part of your clip you want to have in your edit. Once you did that for every clip, select them all by holding shift and selecting the last one and the first one. Then open up the project panel menu. Choose automate to sequence. Then in this window you can choose the ordering. I'm just gonna choose the sort order. Then make sure to leave the placement at unnumbered markers. Also make sure the in and out range is selected. Then click on OK and let Premiere do its thing. There you go. It's time for trick number two, pancake editing. What in the world is pancake editing? This is when you have two timelines instead of one. Let me explain. Here you can see an edit of mine. This is a fun side project, by the way. Now, what I like to do instead of dragging my clips into the timeline is this. I create a second sequence with the same settings as my original one. This one's empty now. Next, I drag them on top of the original. And as you can see, this is where the name pancake comes from. Now, I'm going to use this timeline to add some assets I want to use and to do some quick rough edits. Also transitions I use a lot will be in here. That way I can just hold down alt and duplicate them into my original timeline. This is a huge time saver. Trick number three. I want to show you how I personally cut away bad takes, breaths and have a complete edit in just a few seconds. I am doing this across all my channels so pay attention. Kling AI is a tool you can check out for free. All you need to do is drag your recording into the software and now this is where things get interesting. If you have a multicam setup like with a pod podcast or anything else, Kling AI will recognize that. You have a script, upload it here because that will make sure your video is cut perfectly. But even without a script, this tool is so much more accurate than any other tool I've ever used. Then click on continue. Right now you can choose the options. First make sure cut silences, cut bad takes and remove filler words are enabled. I also like to remove audio noise and enhance my audio. Also let's enable the like and subscribe button. Then click enhance and edit. Once it's done, you will see the timeline now from here. You can instantly send your edit to Premiere and as you can see the source of the clip is still 100% intact so you can edit however you want. But before you export it there's tons of interesting stuff you can do in Gling which is really worth checking out. As you can see here's my script. Right here I was calling my cat Lucky and Gling detected that. You can also hide the cuts so you don't see the parts in the timeline or in the script. Next I always suggest the pacing too fast because these are studio recordings for tutorials. This way the cuts are much tighter. If you go to enhance tab, you can let Gling add b-roll to your videos, which is useful if you're telling stories or for short form content. Of course, you can also add captions, which are customizable. So whatever makes you happy. All that's left to do is export it to an XML. This is saved instantly, by the way, no exporting time or anything like that. Then you can just drag it straight into the timeline. This saves me about an hour per day, you know, with all my channels. So it's absolutely worth the investment. Thank you, Gling, so much for sponsoring this video. Now it's time for a Trick number four, use After Effects to your advantage. And even if you're a complete newbie to After Effects, you will still understand this trick. Please don't skip this one, please. If you want to make an animation, even just a simple zoom in on your face, please don't go through the struggle of using the transform effect, using these annoying velocity curves to ease your keyframes. Don't get me wrong, if you don't have After Effects, this is the way to go. But if you do have After Effects, right click your clip and choose After Effects Composition. This way AE will open up. You know, don't be overwhelmed. Let me hold your hand. This is extremely simple. This here is the timeline and this is the clip you've just sent to After Effects. 
If you expand your clip properties, you will see the motion properties. They work exactly the same as in Premiere, but it's just a lot better and easier. Let's create a simple zoom into my face effect. For this, we're simply going to animate the scale and position properties the exact same way as we would do in Premiere. But now, how are we going to ease the keyframes? Well, to do that, simply select both the keyframes and hit F9. Now, instead of using Premiere's shitty velocity curves, we're going to use these ones right here. If you don't see them, simply enable them on the bottom. Look at how precise we can adjust the curves. Okay, now what about motion blur? Well, just enable the motion blur toggle. It's that simple. Now press Ctrl S to save your project and if we jump back to Premiere, your animation will be in here. There you go. Now for trick number five, we're gonna use Premiere's Generative Extent. I made a video about the pros and cons about Generative Extent, so if you, if you wanna learn everything about that, video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.